The Rat Pack are typically remembered as being a ragtag group of handsome, sophisticated, well-dressed men who happen to also have a knack for singing and entertainment. They say that behind every great man is an even greater woman. While that somewhat dated expression might be contested today, it's undeniable that members of the Rat Pack were intimately connected to some of the most prominent and influential women of their day. In this video, we'll be discussing practically every woman who got involved with the group of entertainers. Angie Dickinson Angie was one of Frank Sinatra's many love affairs. In 1960, she appeared alongside Sinatra in Ocean's Eleven. She played Beatrice Ocean, the wife of Sinatra's character Danny. The film also featured performances by Rat Packers Sammy Davis Jr. and Dean Martin and is often credited with boosting their respective acting careers. While Dickinson's appearances in Rat Pack films were few and far between, her intimate connection with Sinatra earned her a coveted place within the elite group of stars circle. Mia Farrow this blonde bombshell was Frank Sinatra's third wife. She spent a great deal of her younger years running around with the Rat Pack. While she didn't appear in any of their films, she rose to fame and became a sought-after actress while making her breakthrough appearance in Rosemary's Baby. She was later romantically tied to director Woody Allen, appearing in more than ten of his films. Judy Garland this popular actress gained widespread recognition for her appearances in films like The Wizard of Oz and Meet Me in St. Louis. She starred opposite Frank Sinatra in Till the Clouds Roll By and made another cameo appearance with him alongside Rat Pack members Sammy Davis Jr. and Dean Martin in the 1960 film Pepe. Due to her especially close relationship with the group of entertainers, Garland has been called the quote-unquote first vice president of the Rat Pack. Kim Novak Kim was one of her era's most famous female leads. She earned widespread fame after giving her powerful and unforgettable performance in Alfred Hitchcock's thriller Vertigo. Novak met and immediately fell madly in love with Sammy Davis Jr. in 1957. Even though she and Sammy received quite a bit of backlash over the fact that they were an interracial couple, she didn't let that controversy hold her back from loving him. After the infamous Columbia Studios chief Harry Cohn allegedly hired mobsters to threaten Davis over his relationship with Novak, Sammy put an end to their relationship, breaking Kim's heart. Lauren Bacall One of Frank Sinatra's other failed affairs was with this star, who was affectionately dubbed the den mother of the Rat Pack. Before getting involved with Old Blue Eyes, Bacall was married to Humphrey Bogart until his death in the late 50s. Marilyn Monroe of all the women associated with the Rat Pack, Monroe's personal connection with Frank Sinatra and other members made her somewhat of an unofficial member. She spent a lot of time with the crew from the early 50s until her death a decade later. She was already so famous by the time she met the Rat Pack that it would have been inconceivable for them to deny her admission. Frank ended up becoming one of Monroe's closest allies when she was going through her divorces. She once wrote of Sinatra he made her feel secure and happy while also making her laugh. She went on to say he was the only man who had taught her how to live. Juliet Prowse this South African native was one heck of a dancer. She rose to fame after appearing in the 1960 film Can Can. Alongside Frank Sinatra, Prowse was one of the standout stars of the film. She later appeared in several other Sinatra offerings, including his short-lived television show, The Frank Sinatra Show. Prowse also famously appeared alongside the king of rock and roll, Elvis Presley, in his film G.I. Blues. Marlene Dietrich Long before she was tied to the Rat Pack, Dietrich had already established herself as one of Hollywood's biggest talents. She became a household name after her performance in the 1930 film The Blue Angel. Dietrich gave yet another memorable performance in the critically acclaimed film Around the World in 80 Days. Given her popularity, the Rat Pack made sure she had a spot at their table. She eventually became one of Frank's many lovers. Among some of her other high-profile romances were Yul Brenner, JFK, and George Bernard Shaw. Katherine Hepburn this enchanting actress became acquainted with the Rat Pack when she was still a rising starlet. Throughout her career, she received the most Academy Award nods of any woman besides Meryl Streep. Hepburn had ties with Humphrey Bogart and became associated with the popular clique of stars he brushed shoulders with after she suggested him for the male lead role in the 1951 film African Queen. You know we're all about the facts at Factsverse, which is why we're excited to show off our partner Deal Dash. It's the best place to get deals online, and that's a fact. Deal Dash is an auction site that lists hundreds of exciting brand name items. Everything you'll find is brand new, with each auction starting at zero dollars. 
While we were bidding, we saw a MacBook Air sell for under 68 bucks. People are actually winning and purchasing items like this and even items like cars and 4K televisions at over 90% off retail prices. Go to dealdash.com slash faxverse or use the code faxverse to get a $10 bonus with your first bid pack purchase. Shirley MacLaine. Just like Angie Dickinson and Juliet Prowse, McLean was one of the few female stars who earned the honor of becoming an unofficial Rat Packer. She was often considered one of the clique's mascots and could often be seen in their company. She rose to prominence after appearing in 1956's Around the World in 80 Days, and some came running. McLean went on to take home an Oscar for her starring role in Terms of Endearment. Barbara Sinatra this model, showgirl, socialite, and philanthropist was the fourth wife of Frank Sinatra. She and the crooner got married July 11, 1976. Their marriage ended up being the longest for both of them. She remained by his side until his death in 1998. Frank ended up leaving her $3.5 million of his assets, along with his three mansions in Palm Springs, Beverly Hills, and Malibu. Janet Lee. Janet Lee rose to prominence as a leading lady in the late 40s. She married fellow film star Tony Curtis in 1951. The celebrity duo continued to grow in popularity throughout the 50s and often spent their free time hanging around the Rat Pack. Janet is perhaps best remembered for her famous role of Marion Crane in Alfred Hitchcock's Psycho. For that role, she won both an Academy Award and Golden Globe. Elizabeth Taylor it's hard to imagine a time when an elite Hollywood circle like the Rat Pack wouldn't have welcomed this actress. Taylor spent the majority of her life in the spotlight as one of Tinseltown's most prominent stars. She was only nine years old when she was offered contracts with both MGM and Universal. She signed with Universal and went on to emerge as one of the most beloved stars in show business. In the 1950s, Taylor transitioned into taking on more adult roles and started spending time in the company of the Rat Pack. By the end of the 50s, she'd become a critically acclaimed bona fide star. Lena Horne In the 1930s, Horne was what's called a triple threat. She could sing, dance, and act, and everyone knew she had what it took to steal the spotlight. As an African-American mixed-race actress, she certainly was one of Hollywood's first trendsetters. In the 40s, she worked for both 20th Century Fox and MGM, but grew tired of showbiz and became disillusioned with the industry by the 50s. Horn later shifted away from Hollywood and pursued a career performing in nightclubs in the mid-50s. Since she was so talented and famous, it wasn't that surprising when she started running around with members of the Rat Pack. Ava Gardner This starlet signed with MGM in 1941. A year later, she married Mickey Rooney. The couple did their best to keep their marriage a secret so Rooney's fans wouldn't feel put off by the Rat Packers' change in relationship status. Gardner and Rooney's marriage fell apart less than a year later, but Ava agreed not to disclose details of Rooney's infidelity so it wouldn't hurt his career. In 1951, Ava and Frank Sinatra walked down the aisle. The couple remained married for five years before splitting in 1956. Despite getting divorced, Gardner and Sinatra remained close friends for the rest of their lives. May Britt after getting discovered at the age of 18 while working as a photographer's assistant in Sweden, Britt was offered the lead role in the film Jolanda, the daughter of the Black Corsair. That role was responsible for launching her career. She then signed with 20th Century Fox and moved to Hollywood. Not long after relocating to the States, Britt met Sammy Davis Jr. in 1959. The following year, they exchanged wedding vows, even though interracial marriage was illegal at the time in 31 U.S. states. They had three children together before finalizing their divorce in 1968. Now it's time to hear from you. Can you think of some other women that members of the Rat Pack were linked to? Let us know in the comments section below. And before you go, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to Facts First if you haven't already. Click the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content.